Now every video camera, whether it's a video camera or whether you're going to import video clips from your still camera, is relative to the camera and the cabling that you use. I am going to use my Sony DV video camera. I am going to connect it using the Firewire cable and show you how I import it from there. It could be that you are taking video clips from your still camera in which case you might have downloaded it in your normal manner either through Picasa that they are there on your computer and the option that you would use then is to import the videos from your app from that are on the hard drive already. I'm going to start off with using digital video camera and directly import it into this project. I have cabled my camera to the computer. I have set the tape to the place where I want to start re picking up my video from because on this particular tape it is several minutes into the tape because I have several uh, several bits of film on here for several locations. I am now going to turn my camera on and put it in the playback mode and you will see that it will come up. I am now going to say import from my digital camera. I'm going to give it a name so I'm going to enter the the name of the tape and in this particular instance I'm going to call it Morocco. It's going to be imported into my video folder I can in fact browse and, and put it into a subfolder if I want. I have the option of bringing it in as a single file. I'm going to accept that and click on next. Now only import the video tape to my computer, only parts of it. This means I can stop and start it at any stage. The first option is to import the complete tape. Very rarely do I, I import a complete tape. I like to control the bits because I do believe that there is quite a bit on this tape, in fact, where it's being filmed with the, the camera lens on, so I don't necessarily want to import a load of rubbish. So I'm going to be in control of it and click on Next. It started my camera off. I can, using the controls here, fast forward and go to an area where I want it to start, but I know that I have set my tape position um, using just the camera myself. But I can pause, move fast forward, go back. Now I'm going to say start importing my video. I can tell it to stop after so many minutes if I wish. Um, in this instance I want to physically be able to stop it myself. I can preview what I'm importing with a widescreen if I prefer. I'm now going to say start importing my video. I have started to import this video as you can see and I have the ability of now stopping it. I'm getting quite a lot of information here as well. I'm getting the imported video timing. I'm getting the file size that I have created so far. It also tells me just how much space that I have got left on my video. So at any stage I can finish and stop the video importing. Now we're going to have a look and have a bit of fun as to how we can put some of these pieces together properly.